Okay, so this will be the third time I'm doing this recording because the first time it failed for some reason and the second time I just sounded way too mean uh, uh, in the video. But like, I only realized that after the fact, but you know, it, like you guys never saw that footage because I scheduled my videos in advance. Some people still don't seem to realize that. They, 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 seem, they seem to think I upload when I, a video of my, um, goes up on my channel. I just did it like uh, a couple of minutes ago. That's not true at all. I do like my videos one week in advance at the least. And that's not to even mention like uh, when these matches happen. Like this one's at least a week old now. Well, maybe not a week, but almost a week. Uh, it's two matches, by the way, two quickies. I really enjoy them, and I'm really enjoying the new Bento Splatter Scope as well. It's uh, rekindling my love of the chargers once again. I think it's the fast charge that really helps. Oh, but uh, someone said that they don't like uh, me using the scoped variants now. Well, I, I, um, you're gonna be seeing the scoped variant much more often. Sorry. I might still like use the normal E leaders, but I'm really liking the scoped variant of the Bento Spider Scope. It's something that I really want to like get used to, you know. Anyway, I don't know why, but the Ink Zuka didn't catch me there. Like seriously, how did that? How did I not get hit? I, I'm not like immortal or anything, so it was quite strange that I didn't get hit. Uh, speaking of which, I like the splash wall combination uh, that uh, the Bento Spider Scope offers for chargers. And that was a funny, like, uh, setup with the enemy splash wall and our splash wall right there. Anyway, yeah, that was a quick, quick win because uh, four against three. And, like, the three players weren't that bad, but one of them was A- and one of them was A rank. So, it was not all that surprising that we won so easily. Oh, and before anyone says anything, I'm using the Koro Koro hat because I was still upgrading it. I think I switched uh, back to my normal sporty bobble hat after like three matches because this was an excellent squad session that we did and this uh, last Sunday mostly because we were all good players but you know also because we got lucky lots of matches were close and we managed to scrape by a win at the very end well except for a couple of ones anyway this is four against four so obviously it's gonna be much closer I don't know if I was doing the right thing stay in that position. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten hit if uh, the opponents were paying enough attention, but fortunately they weren't, so I was able to take out two enemies. Oh, also, I don't know why I'm not getting hit by Inkzookas. Like, I should have gotten hit by that Inkzooka player back there, and there's gonna be an even more infuriating sequence where I'm gonna dodge, like, basically point-blank some shots from Ningzuka, but still, it was strange. Also, Walanka, you thought you were safe on that cube? No, you're not safe from the Kraken at all. <laughs> they can jump on it. And I'm taking my time right here because the enemies are pretty much waiting for me. Also, some of you may have noticed that I occasionally hop, particularly when I noticed that the charger is aiming for me. That's because it's possible for the chargers to hit you even when you're on that position. Anyway, I'm taking a few more steps forward but obviously I can't go too forward but yes like you guys saw that how did I not get one hit killed by the Inkzuka there that was crazy anyway I died right here but that was normal because I was about to run out of time holding the Rainmaker and unfortunately I don't see who managed to land it I don't think it was Walanka but it could have been Walanka I know what I said <laughs> well anyway yeah that was two quick matches I I thought they were both entertaining what do you guys think I know some of you have like varying op opinions of like uh, everything I upload, but I sure hope that overall you're getting a, a good dose of entertainment out of my videos. Some people are not too happy with the way I changed my Mario Maker video format, but I'm sticking to it. I, I mean, I've already, I was already uploading some uh, levels in one video, no matter how short that video would be. But apparently, some people really enjoyed me trying to play like three levels per session. Well per part of a session. Whatever the case, someone complained that like I shouldn't be doing the new format because I might like end up playing a level that is like only 30 seconds long and that means I would have a video that is only like less than a minute long and my retort to that is that how is that any different from me playing that in the like longer quote-unquote session where I play three levels? What happens if I play 
three levels that are 30 seconds long. It wouldn't really change the situation all that much. And the fact of the matter is, I'm playing these levels because you guys asked me to. It's also another reason why I'm changing the format to one level, one video, because I want the level to be like, I want all the comments of that video to refer to the level in the video. When it was multiple levels, some people would just outright ignore another level if one of the, you know, one of them was much better than the other. Hence why I use the like Super Troll Castle video as an example of a level being completely ignored because the other one was so amazing. Anyway, I think I said enough. Hope you've all enjoyed and hope you have a nice day. Bye bye.